Good morning. Welcome back to Warren's channel. Those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Christian. Um, I'm Warren's boyfriend. I know this is a little bit of a switch up. Uh, usually you would be expecting like a very aesthetic uh, something, you know, like some coffee brewing or something, but a little bit different on my side. It is about 9.40 a.m. Just getting out of bed. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little inside of the life of me and see how it goes uh, have some fun with it so basically i'm gonna do a little day in the life a little work day in the life i'm like looking at the screen here i'm not looking at the camera so this is like uh you know gonna take some adjusting some getting used to but uh give you a quick breakdown like i said i just got out of bed a little bit after 9 30. uh lauren obviously wakes up a lot earlier than i do uh, she's already been at work I think for like an hour and a half or something like that So definitely lucky that I get to sleep in a little bit. So yeah, I'm gonna go through a little morning routine here Very very simple and uh, do a little little breakfast and then uh, get ready for work and hit the road So let's go. Welcome back. I just made my way from the bedroom to the bathroom uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little uh, a little quick morning routine um, we start off always, always, first thing most important we have to do every morning, um, gotta brush your teeth. All right. All right, so teeth are brushed, breath is fresh, ready to go. We're gonna do a little uh, quick morning facial uh, routine here, a little skincare for the morning. Very simple, let me set you guys up. You always want to keep, obviously, the skin in pristine shape. Lauren has a great skincare routine um, in some of her vlogs. If you haven't checked it out, I would definitely go check it out. Mine is a little bit more simple than hers. Uh, hers is definitely more advanced, but kind of give you a quick breakdown. We're just going to get the water running. Just turn on the water like that. Boom. Alrighty. And then what you want to do is you want to put... These fingers over these fingers, so kind of get your hand in like a little bit of a cup. You're gonna get a little bit of water. Boom. Wash your face, turn the water off, give it a little pat dry, and you're good to go. Nice and refreshed, face is feeling good, skin is looking good, and uh, yeah, very nice. I feel woken up. I feel alive, ready to attack my day. All right, so I just did the, the facial routine, a little skincare. Now we're gonna dive into the, uh, into the drawer here. So basically what I have here is just some vitamins, vitamins I take every day, some deodorant, very, very good deodorant for you guys out there. Hold on, let me get it to focus in a second. There we go, there we go. So, a little Duke Cannon antiperspirant. Jeez, man, this thing is tough. There we go, Duke Cannon antiperspirant deodorant. Very good, keeps you nice and uh, fresh for the day. So we'll do that there for some deodorant application. Uh, I will exercise daily, so I always take some joint supplements. Gotta make sure your joints are in tip-top shape. I do a little bit of collagen as well. Uh, Lauren put me on the collagen. Gotta take your one a day men's, multivitamin, boom. A uh, little bit of turmeric, uh, bulletproof turmeric gummies. These are absolutely horrible tasting. So you, yeah, I don't recommend getting these for the taste, but the benefits are good. So I definitely take some turmeric as well. Sorry. Fish oil, burpless fish oil, really good. I think that's pretty much it. But yeah, this is kind of like a dive into my toiletries drawer, if you will. Uh, pretty organized, not terrible. You know, it's kind of some randomness in here. But that's the supplement, so we're gonna take those and move on. bit of a gloomy day today. It's 
been chilly here in uh, Orlando, Florida. Kind of a gloomy day, but it's all right. It's okay. Give you guys a quick view. I always step out into the balcony, take a breath of fresh air. <sighs> Gotta breathe in that fresh air before you eat your breakfast. Let's go eat some breakfast. Every single morning, and I mean every single morning, this is exactly what I eat. I eat two packs of this Quaker lower sugar, maple and brown sugar uh, oatmeal. Every morning I have it. It's just something very easy to eat. For some reason, I don't really get sick of it, which is kind of nice. Uh, well, let me give you guys a little quick shout out to the organization in our pantry here. So shout out to Lauren for that. Absolutely just incredible. It's immaculate, immaculate. House is very clean too. Shout out to Lauren for that as well. We keep the house tip top, tip top shape. So two packs of oatmeal every morning, quick, boom, shake them down. Voila, that is my breakfast. Now, a lot of people like to throw berries and things like that in their oatmeal. I do it sometimes, you know, if I'm feeling a little crazy, but for the most part, we just keep it simple. All right, guys, I forgot to mention earlier when I was telling you guys about my morning supplements. These are actually new, these goalies. Uh, Lauren got these and put me on them. They're absolutely incredible. Apple cider vinegar and ashwagandha. So I take these after I eat my breakfast just because I want to have a full stomach before I take them. So yeah, I take the serving size of these after um, I eat a little breakfast, so after I have my oatmeal. Very, very good. Um, I've been taking them for like, I want to say a month, maybe? I don't know, a long time. They're delicious. They're so easy to take. It's better than taking like a shot of apple cider vinegar. Um, a lot of health benefits in that. And the ashwagandha is just really good. Helps you relax. It's good for mood health. So I take this as well. Very, very good stuff. If you're interested in buying some, Lauren has a discount code. I'm pretty sure she'll put it in the video when she edits it. But highly recommend trying those if you have it. I'm not even kidding. They're amazing. Really, really good. So, uh, so we had our breakfast. We did our facial routine we brushed our teeth basically a whole morning routine essentially and we took our vitamins our supplements had a glass of water ready i always do a gallon of water every single day so i have two 20 ounce uh yetis full of water before i even leave the house so i have 40 ounces before i leave the house absolutely essential must must have your gallon of water now i'm going to take you guys into the closet and uh get ready for work Okay, so here we are. Welcome to my closet tour. Pretty basic guy's closet, I would say. Got my, you know, my standard clothes here. This is like kind of where I keep my work clothes. So I wear a polo every day to work. So here are all my polos, work pants. Uh, then I go into like my uh, casual shirts for like going out and stuff. Into like dress shirts, jackets, hoodies jerseys, things like that back there. Uh, there's some shoes I never wear up there, just on my like, dress shoes and stuff. These are, are more of like my everyday shoes. Laundry basket, sorry for that. And then this is my regular like nicer shoe collection. Some some nice shoes that I like. I'm kind of getting bigger into shoes. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get dressed. There you have it. Quick and easy, little polo shirt, just some, some work pants, put on the shoes before you leave the house. So once the clothes are on, ready to go, we have to do the hair. Hair is very important. So what we do is similar to when we do our facial skincare routine, 
We're just gonna turn the sink on. And this is absolutely, you can't leave the house without doing this. So we're gonna turn the sink on to get that. Make sure the water is nice and warm, you know, you don't want it too cold. Grab the towel from here, put the towel around the neck, and we're just gonna dive right on in. Boom, give it a nice dry towel. That's it, we're good to go. Shoes are on, outfit ready to go. A little work outfit, very simple. You know, just some pants, work shirt, uh, shoes, hair's done. I have a quick question for you guys because I was just, you know, walking through the house. You find something new every day in a woman's bathroom, and I, this one really kind of threw one, threw a curveball at me. Must, must have your gallon of water. Um, and yeah. What the? I'm not exactly sure. Like, usually I can kind of figure out what, you know, the device or what the object is. This one right here is definitely different. If you guys can tell me what this is, I've never seen this before. I'm going to have to ask Lauren on this one. It's got like a suction cup on it. So maybe it's like, I don't know. Maybe you like put something on this. It's, I, I really, I really have no idea. So this one's definitely new for me. Um, but yeah, you, you find, you find new things every single day living with your significant other. So, uh, yeah, that's definitely a new one. Let me know what that is in the, in the comments down below. Really curious to see what kind of answers we get because this one's just, this is something else. The ride for work. So, get in here, it's actually raining. And it's a lot colder than I thought. So I brought a little jacket. That should be cool. All right, we just left the house. Well, we're about to leave the house. It's a little after 10 a.m. Kind of a late start to my day, to be honest. Usually I like to get started by like 9.30, leave the house by 9.30 the latest. So it's definitely a little bit of a later start to the day, but that's fine. I'm gonna get driving and I'm gonna give you guys a little breakdown on what I do. For those of you who don't know, which I'm sure is probably all of you, I am a liquor salesman. So to kind of give you a little rundown, it's basically I work for a liquor distribution company. So I have a dedicated division that is responsible for selling certain brands. Those brands are only sold by me, so I don't have competition in the sales with other people trying to sell my brands. If a customer wants my my products, they have to get it through me, so that's kind of a good thing. And I have like a lot of the, a lot of the higher, I would say higher uh, volume brands, some of the more popular stuff. So that's that's obviously really good as well. It makes makes my job a lot easier. So basically, on a day to day, I kind of just go from. I'm always in the car. I probably work from home maybe once a week, if that. The rest, I'm, I'm out on the road in the car driving. So it's a lot of a lot of windshield time. I'm always in the car throughout my territory driving to different accounts. And what I do is I, I go to the accounts and yeah, I, I sell my stuff. So if, you know, accounts need, you know, whatever brand it is, for example, like Don Julio or Captain Morgan or whatever, whatever the case is, I sell it to them. The, the thing is, is like, the, comp the, the customers are always gonna buy my products, which is nice, because they need it to run their business. But a big thing that I do is, is try and get them, obviously, to buy more, and as much of it as, as I can. I also, you know, help with, like, uh, dropping off, like, point of sale so they can set up displays. You know, anything to kind of market and get the brand out in front of the customers is, like, my goal and my, you know, what the company wants from us. So as much of that as I can do is, is always good. And then basically, yeah, it's like I said, a lot of driving. So that can get a little bit, you know, tough, but I, I, I personally like it better than having to like sit in an office all day and kind of, kind of do that, that whole uh, thing. 
This is a little bit more freedom, as you can see. I pretty much make my own schedule for the most part. Sometimes, you know, I gotta be certain places at certain times, but I pretty much dictate it for, for the most part, which is good. And yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good job. I've been doing it for almost four years now. It was my first job out of college, technically. So, very, very cool. And yeah, I'm gonna try. So it's gonna be tough to, to kind of get you got to bring the camera probably into the accounts because I don't want anyone to be like, what is that or whatever, like why are you recording or something like that. My accounts are pretty cool. I call on, so there's 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 a couple different avenues um, that we that we work with. We, we either call on like bars and restaurants or we call on big chain retail stores. So like Walmart, Winn-Dixie, Publix, Target, the big corporate stores, or we do independent stores. So that's kind of my, my role is I'm like an independent sales consultant. So basically I do all the privately owned liquor stores. So all of your, you know, mom and pop, privately owned accounts. I have like 35 accounts and you can see anywhere from four to seven accounts in a day, depending on, you know, how busy you are and what you're exactly you're doing in those accounts. So, anyways, uh, sorry for the rants. Kind of a little bit of a long rant there on what I do, but figured if anyone was interested, that's it. It's it's very easy, very 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 chill. Um, but yeah, I'll take you along for the day and see what's up. Okay, so this is a quick clip of me inside of an account. Doing a little bit of uh, work, uh, as you can see, this is uh, a liquor store. And I'm taking an order currently for this store. So the display, very easy. Very cool. I can't get too much footage in here because I don't wanna, I don't want anyone to get, you know, wonder what the hell I'm doing. So yeah, it's a little inside, inside, behind the scenes, BTS. Still raining outside and pretty cold for Florida. It's like 45 degrees and raining. So I've been to, how many stops? I've been to four accounts today. Met my boss today as well. And my boss was able to hook it up with some, uh, some samples. So show you guys some samples. Be trying those. And yeah, we're gonna head home for the day. Um, I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm gonna run home. I'm gonna get my lunch in, late lunch, and then I'm gonna get ready for the gym. later in the day just got home from work it's a little after 4 30 not too long of a day but usually i bring my lunch with so i can throw it in a, I, what i actually do is we meal prep so lauren is nice enough to make meal prep for us for the week so we can you know save money eat healthy so she's got some uh, i'm sure she showed you in the vlogs in the past but there's some teriyaki uh, turkey in here. I think it's some teriyaki cauliflower fried rice. Very very good healthy meal. So what I actually do is I bring that with me like when I'm you know working and a lot of my accounts because they're like private like independent liquor stores they um they all have microwaves there because they like cook up their own food and stuff their lunch. 
So I always just like be like, hey, can I use your microwave? I know it's kind of weird, but heat up my food and then I usually eat in my car. Or I, uh, I do what I did today and I just eat when I get back home if I know I'm coming home a little bit earlier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat this food real quick and then I'm going to get ready to go to the gym. But yeah, basically it was it was a good day, good solid work day. I got a lot done. I visited like four accounts. I, I, I'm sorry there's not a lot of footage of me actually in the accounts. It's just very hard to like record in there. It's just not really professional in a way. So I just was like in respect for them. I just didn't wanna kind of bring the camera in there, but I got a little clip of something, so you guys will see that. Yeah, so I'm just gonna eat this uh, this lunch right here. Absolutely starving right now. I'll see you guys when I get ready for the gym. All right, here is the gym fit. Very simple, basic, got the Vans, because they're flat. I like to have flat shoes when I go to the gym, especially when I'm doing legs or deadlifting, which I'm doing today, I'm doing back, so I'm gonna deadlift. Got the Nike hoodie. Simple, Nike pants, simple, ready to rock. Very, very simple, easy, boom, boom, boom. We are gonna go get a workout in. Um, still a little bit full, because I had that late lunch, which is fine. I have probably about like 30, 40 minutes to digest, which isn't ideal, I'd rather have like an hour, but what can you do? Gonna go to the gym now, and then get a workout in. Usually I work out for like hour and a half, two hours, um, and then from there, I'm going to come home and have some dinner. And yeah, so I'll, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get too much footage inside the gym, it's another thing. I, I don't really know if I'm gonna be recording while I'm in there working out. Um, just not really like comfortable with that, just because I'm not really used to it and it's like not really my thing, but uh, maybe if I can sneak like a video of something maybe then I can try and get like a workout or something in for you guys um, Just so you guys can get an idea, but um, No promises there. So we'll see Little pre-workout, can't forget the pre-workout. Have to take the pre-workout in order to work out. Can't do it without it, need it. I don't drink coffee, I don't drink any caffeine throughout the day, so this is like the only caffeine that I get. Um, there is caffeine in my pre-workout, it has to be the only way. Um, I don't do stim free, I just do regular. Put a little BCAAs, pre-workout, creatine. Uh, get it flowing, drink it before I go, and we're off. What is up? Just finished a workout. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't get oh, I didn't get much uh, I didn't get too much footage from in there. Like I said, I, I probably wasn't going to. So um, I got some deadlifts. Uh, here you have it. Nothing nothing crazy. Uh, just a little back workout. I'm about to either head home. I gotta call Lauren and see if she wants to um, see if she wants to. Uh, me to pick up something to eat or if we're gonna eat at home um usually we eat at home but uh, i'm kind of feeling like some chick-fil-a or some chipotle or something easy i don't really feel like cooking so i'm gonna call her and see what's up all 
All right, so I got the Chick-fil-A as you saw. And honestly, I'm about to wrap this up. Um, eventful day, but I'm gonna be honest with you. The best part of my day is actually this part. Oops. Cause I get to come home and see. Yeah. <laughs>